by uh, Medcadera. I've been making uh, bells and other things out of recycled materials for the last 20 years. First time at the Longs Park. And, uh, here ringing the bells and having a good time. Hi, I'm Eric Ober. I'm a metal sculptor. I live in Houston, Texas. I've been creating monumental metal sculpture for about 10 or 11 years now. I take plate steel and cut it up and shape it and weld it together to create what you see here before you. Um, and then I kind of let nature do its course and do the beautiful finishes for me, but uh, I really enjoy what I do and I'm very lucky to have been as successful as I have. Hello, I'm Marlo Gates. I'm a broom maker from Asheville, North Carolina, a little town just outside Asheville. They're actually called Big Sandy Mush, but not too many people know where that is. I am working on sewing this little antler piece. This is going to be a hearth broom to go next to a fireplace, and it has a stalk of some of my red homegrown broom corn in there. I do all the stitching and all the weaving by hand. It's an old shaker technique. It dates back probably to the 1790s, the way I make my brooms. I learned from my father. He was a master broom maker. I grew up in the family business helping him out. I stitch it using this wide, flat metal needle. It's a broom needle, or an old-fashioned term was called a bodkin. And the needle slides right between the fibers of the broom corn. Pull it down tight, and I'll trim that off inside, and that'll be one row of stitches. When I get it done, I'll put another row right across here. And then we'll probably give this one a little bit of a haircut at the bottom, and it'll be ready to go. It'll be very similar to uh, this one here, with the uh, row of the broom corn there as well. I just like to get out in the woods and see what I can find. Anything as long as it's got some character. It can't just be a plain handled broom. It's got to have some unusual features. Something that's twisted with a vine wrapped around it. Something that's got a, a gall or driftwood, fallen wood, anything really, but it just cannot be plain. It's got to have, you know, a little character to it. I do like to make functional things. Many of my brooms are guaranteed for life. Actually, they all are. If you wear one out, send it back to me. We'll put a new broom head on it for you. But uh, I like to make things that you can hang on the wall as well as take down and sweep with as well. So those are sort of functional art, I guess, is what it is that appeals to me the most. But look around. You'll see some of my unusual brooms. Make yourselves at home.